Okay, so I already filmed a video today. Um, but I'm kind of in the filming mood. <laughs> so, my other video was on weird chinchilla habits. So, you can go check that out. And today, or this video is going to be on chinchilla supplies that you need basically just the basics so yeah if you are new here welcome if you're not new welcome back um for those of you just coming i really encourage you to subscribe um watch a few of my videos see if you want to subscribe <laughs> um this is my chinchilla nutella He does live alone, but that's like for personal reasons. So please don't come after me for that. Hopefully I will be getting him a friend. Anyways, um, so yeah, this is my channel, Mickey Mouse, and let's try to make the intro short and sweet. And let's get right into the chinchilla supplies that you are going to need. So supply number one is a hut. So I have this hut, it's a KT, um, and your hut is going to need to have at least two entrances or exits. <laughs> yeah, so your hut is going to need to have two entrances or exits because, okay, let me help him. Okay, so your hut is going to need to have at least two entrances or exits because chinchillas are prey animals and they're not going to feel safe in their hut if they don't feel like there are going to be two exits. Because in their mind, they picture a predator trapping them and so they would like to have at least another escape. So yeah, that is why you're going to need a hut. Now, I recommend getting multiple huts. I only have one, but I will be getting him more. I do have a two, which sort of counts, I think. Um, so yeah, let's get into chinchilla supply number two. So the next thing you're going to need is a hay feeder. I have this one, it's pretty small, and I do want to get a bigger one, but you're going to need a hay feeder. Oh, and I will be linking um, things down below. They're probably not going to be the specific products, but just things that I think are really good. Um, so yeah, you're going to need a hay feeder. Another thing you're going to need is a water bottle. Now, I recommend a water bottle that you can take out without opening the cage. I used to have one that, I mean, I still do have it, but it started leaking, so I got rid of it. Or I don't use it anymore. It used to attach inside, but I recommend the one that you can take well, that attaches outside of the cage. That way, um, you don't have to worry about them chewing on the plastic. If it is plastic, you can just take it out without worrying about them escaping. And yeah. The next thing you are going to definitely need is a coop cup or somewhere to put their food. But I recommend a coop cup because it basically hangs on the side of their cage. That way, they have a hard time taking it, picking it up and flipping it over. Now, he still bites on it and pulls it out. Um, but, you know, it's better than them just flipping it over. But he likes to bite on it and pull it out and run around with it. Because he's crazy. <laughs> he's stuck again. Oh, my God. I think he's fine this time. Yeah, no, he'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> so, another thing you're going to need is some sort of bedding. I, rem I recommend fleece, but I will link both fleece and a paper-based bedding down below. And I, yeah. Another thing you're going to need is a chin spin. They need to run, and but don't get that for them unless they are at least seven months old. Because before then, they can't regulate their body temperature, resulting in them overheating and dying. So, another thing they're going to need is lots and lots of toys. Hanging toys, 
tossing toys, everything. So they need things to gnaw their teeth on. I have a plumish chew toy for him and loofahs and everything. And the last thing I'm going to recommend you get for your chinchilla are ledges. Now this is super, super important. This is essential. You need to make sure you get your chinchilla ledges. They like to jump around. They live on mountains in the wild and they jump from rock to rock. They need ledges in order to be comfortable in their cage, okay? So yeah. Oh, and of course the cage. <laughs> I will link that down below. I can't link this one because I don't exactly know where this was got, where this was from. So, uh, yeah, my mom got this one. So I will link a Critter Nation down below. I will link everything, so go check those out. And that is all the essentials or the basics i will also link down some good hay because of course they're going to need hay and i'll also link pellets i'll link everything okay so yeah don't worry about that those are just the essentials there are probably more things that you're going to need for your chinchilla but those are the things that you need as soon as you get your chinchilla it needs to be all set up and you need to have those as soon as you get your chinchilla okay so that is it for today's video thank you so 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 much for watching and goodbye. I'll see you in the next one. Until us is bye. Bye.